What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Blood Survival Games here today. For episode 69, there'll be no jokes today, I'm a mature adult here. <laughs> yes, there'll be no jokes today at all. Let's go scout on Aliens Tower, because that's a great combination, not gonna lie. Anyways, so what I want to talk about today, or briefly talk about today, is the Minecraft 1.9 update, because... Holy shit, has everyone been really angry about that, and I... The community is pissing me off, and so that's, that's all I have to say, really. So let me just talk about... Well, I mean, you guys probably know what the update is, so I don't have to explain it anyways. But basically, what the community was up in arms about is the removal of spam clicking, which is something that I do a lot. So you think I'd be pissed off, or you think I would even care, honestly. Um, but no, I'm actually pretty happy with the change. that they it, It's a change that needed to happen. I don't know why people were so angry about it, honestly. It, it's a change that needed to happen. And... The ability for server owners to... What the? This guy is off-center by a lot, and is taking weird weird amounts of knockback. Wow. Um, the decision, or the ability for server owners to set the amount of knockback, or not sorry, the amount of knockback that is taken, no. The, the ability to spam click or not is a really good one. Um, that's great for server owners, it's great for everything. So I'm actually very happy with what they did there, but what bugs me about the entire system is how it all went down in the community, and the community honestly should have been ignored. I honestly believe that the community should have been ignored. Spam clicking should have been removed forever for just because of the community's reaction. And I know that's a harsh thing to say, understandably, but you know, at the same time, I think it's deserved. I think it should happen. It should be, you know. It... <sighs> I'm sure my opinion isn't necessarily popular with the community, but at the same time, I believe that spam clicking should have been removed simply because the way the community reacted. Uh, the community... Fucking stupid. Um, you know, why are these people so dedic dedicated, and dedicated and cleaning me up? I'm just gonna run into the wire. I don't care. I will let you two fight, and then I'll clean you guys up. Right, so anyways, the way the community reacted pissed me off to no end. There's no reason for what the community did. The PvP community was pathetic in the first place um, on Minecraft. It was always very toxic, always very stupid, because it's a, it's a game based off of jitter-clicking and ping and shit like that. It's not even a skill-based game. A skill based community, so I don't know why even was so on their high horse, anyways, in the first place. And then they removed spam clicking, and this happened. Then Abono even got death threats, you know, saying you should kill yourself for what you do to the game and whatnot. I mean, come on, guys. Fucking death threats. What the serious fuck, guys? Are you fucking kidding me? There's never more of a time that I didn't want to be part of a community than now. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, pissed me off to no end, that reaction from the community. So yeah, guys, please, have more respect, especially... I can understand getting pissed off for something that you should legit get pissed off about. I'm not saying that you're... that it's... I can understand where you guys were coming from. But on a snapshot, on the first release of a snapshot that big... Of course they're gonna change things. Of course they're gonna change it. They're... Oh my god, it just pissed me off because there's snapshots. There's nothing final about them. There's literally nothing final. There's an iron chest plate in the, this chip. Are you fucking kidding me? Some Randy got the blister. Oh god, this guy's hacking hard. <laughs> Fuck sakes, are you kidding me? Also, hack lines. Without spam clicking, hack clients are almost completely useless, which is something that people should realize. But this guy wasn't hacking, he was just really lucky. Hey look, it's the guy with the blister. You didn't use it, did you? Nope, you didn't use it. Wrecked, easy, flawless. <laughs> uh... Minecraft PvP is so skillful and skill-based, you know? Alright, GG guys, I'll see you in the next game. Alright, here we are back on Citadel, we're gonna go night 10. So today they released a new snapshot, and they added it so that way armor that's almost broken will do almost no protection. 
And for some reason, the PvP community is really pissed off about that. Have you ever checked the amount of durability that you take on your armor? In Blitz, in Skywars, in Mega Walls, it's never really that bad. It's not something that will ever affect Hypixel games. It's something that is only there to make survival even worse than it already is. And almost no PvP, player, PvP players play survival, so I'm not sure why the PvP community even cares about this change. Because there's almost no reason to. Like... I don't know why I went for that crit at the end there, because I didn't need to, but whatever. Anyways, guys, I've been working on this server a lot lately because I'm trying to get it done within a certain time frame because I have family coming up, and I really want to have the application basically done before then. So, yes, um, I've been working on it a ton. I've kind of hit a snag that I'm not exactly sure. I did a lot of Google searches about this. Um, how do you get up here? It's been so long since I've done this. Did he just jump into the water? I took a bunch of fall damage so that way you can come and fight me on land, but nope. Right, so anyway, so I, and I I got this problem. I am not sure exactly how to fix this, so I have this Disguiser plugin, and it has an API, and I set it all up so that way it works with my scoreboard and my death messages and everything. And what the problem I'm having is, is I want to have it so the way the client reloads that player, because if you typically use Disguiser plugins, I'm pretty sure no one here really does, but if you ever use Disguiser plugins, you would know that you typically disappear from the screens after they cross-kill each other. You could do slash kill now. Don't block, it's gonna take forever to kill you if I block. Thank you for letting me win, I guess, but I'm pretty sure I won't win anyways, to be honest. I want to make it so that way I can reload the players on the client's end. And I'm not exactly sure how to go about that. I tried teleporting them to faraway places, leaving them to fall from through the sky for a couple seconds, and then teleporting them back to force what I would consider it would be enough. And then, you know, through dimensions even, and nothing works. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!